spherically distributed charge. A region in space contains a total positive charge, capital Q, that is distributed spherically, such that the volume charge density rho as a function of R is given by 3 alpha R over 2 capital R for R less or equal to capital R over 2, alpha times 1 minus uh, parentheses R over capital R squared for uh, capital R over 2, less or equal to R, less or equal to capital R, and for R greater or equal to capital R, the charge density is zero. Here, alpha is a positive constant having units of coulombs per meter cube. Part A, determine alpha in terms of Q and R. So that's what we're going to deal with in this video. Okay, so the total charge Q is the integral rho charge density dv, the infinitesimal volume. And we have different charge distributions depending on where we are in space. So in between 0 and capital R over 2, for R between 0 and capital R over 2, we have this charge distribution. So we have 3 alpha capital R divided by 3 alpha R divided by 2 capital R. So that's the given charge distribution here. And what is the volume element for spherical uh, distribution? We have 4 pi R squared dr. So that's the uh, surface area of the uh, sphere multiplied by uh, infinitesimal change in the radial distance. So 4 pi r squared dr, this is the dv in the integral. Then we move to the next region. So we have in between capital R over 2 and capital R, the charge density given by alpha times 1 minus R over capital R parentheses squ squared. So this is the charge distribution uh, given here. This charge distribution. And multiplied by dV. So it is 4 pi R squared dR. And for R greater than capital R, we have no charge. So we don't need to consider that region. Okay, so this is a spherical charge distribution. For R less than capital R, we have a non-uniform charge distribution. So this part of the integral, you can see I can take some of the terms outside. So 4 pi, 3 alpha, and 2 capital R do not belong to this integral. So let's take them out. We have 4 pi 3 capital R alpha divided by 3 alpha divided by 2 capital R. Then we have the remaining integral from 0 to capital R over 2. So we have R and R square here. So we obtain R cube dr. And the next term for the region between capital R over 2 and capital R, uh, we have 4 pi alpha that doesn't belong to this integral, so that can be taken out. So we have 4 pi alpha integral capital R over 2 to capital R. Now you can see that we, we're going to obtain two terms here. So one term will be r squared dr. The other term will be r squared times r over capital R squared dr. So uh, the first term is r squared dr. And then we have the second term. The second term has the minus sign here. So minus... Once again, we have the 4 pi alpha, 
4 pi alpha and then we have 1 over capital R square so capital R square is taken out and then we have the integral from capital R over 2 to capital R so we obtain R squared multiplied with R squared R to the fourth power dr okay so let's double check uh, we have 4 pi alpha r square dr the first term and then we have 4 pi alpha over capital r square r square times r square r to the fourth uh, power dr all right now we are ready to perform the integration so uh, let's take a look at the first integral capital q is equal to the first integral is this uh, 4 pi 3 alpha over 2 r so i'm going to obtain from the integration r to the fourth power divided by uh, 4 and this will be in between 0 and capital r over Two. Uh, so this 2 will make uh, this 4 2 so I'm going to obtain on top 6 pi alpha divided by capital R so let's uh, do that here 6 pi alpha divided by capital R the result of the integral is R to the fourth power divided by 4 and this will be evaluated between 0 and capital R over 2 so that's the first integral that we have performed now we move on to the next integral we have R squared dr that's going to give us R cubed divided by 3 so 4 pi alpha over 3 r cube is what we will obtain so here we're going to get plus 4 pi alpha over 3 r cube and this will be evaluated between capital r over 2 and capital r and then we have the next integral which is this one here uh, this will give us r to the fifth power over 5 so 4 pi alpha uh, divided by 5 capital r square r to the fifth power and we have a minus sign as well so let's put our minus sign here 4 pi alpha capital r square multiplied with r to the fifth power divided by 5 and this will be evaluated between capital r over 2 and capital r so that takes care of all the integrals uh, that we have obtained in this calculation now we can put the limits so let's do that let's put the limits here so the first term will give us 6 pi alpha divided by 4 capital R and we put here R over 2 to the fourth power so that's going to give us uh, capital R to the fourth power divided by 16 2 to the fourth power and when we place the other limit 0 that gives no contribution okay so that's the first integral the second one we have 4 pi alpha over 4 pi alpha over 3 if we place for r capital r we're going to obtain capital r cube if we place capital R over 2, we will obtain capital R cube divided by 8. And for the last one, 
we have uh, minus 4 pi alpha 4 pi alpha divided by 5 capital R square we place for R capital R so we will obtain capital R to the fifth power minus capital R to the fifth power divided by 2 to the fifth power which is 32 so this will give us our last term all right so let's continue with this calculation uh, here we're going to obtain a cancellation uh, so this will be uh, 2 this will be 3 so we have for the for the first term 3 pi alpha capital R cube 3 pi alpha capital R cube y cube because uh, this R will make this cube uh, divided by 2 times 16 which is 32 plus uh, then we have 4 pi alpha over 3 4 pi alpha over 3 uh, r cube minus r cube over 8 that is 7 r cube over 8 so 7 capital r cube over 8 and then we have the last term minus 4 pi alpha divided by 5 times capital R square multiplied by R to the 5th power minus R to the 5th power over 32 that is 31 over 32 R to the 5th power capital R to the 5th power okay and uh, here we're going to get capital R square making the top capital R cube now you can see here in each term I have capital R cube pi alpha capital R cube pi alpha capital R cube pi alpha so let's connect collect all of these terms capital R cube pi alpha parentheses I have the first term uh, 3 over 32 so 3 over 32 plus then I have uh, this 4 making this 8 2 so I will obtain 7 over 6 pi alpha r cube so the next term is 7 over 6 and then here I have um, 4 making this 32 8 8 times 5 is 40 so I will have minus 31 over 40 pi alpha capital R cube so let's put all of this into a common uh, denominator so I will have capital R cube pi alpha the common denominator is 480 so if I multiply uh, this term with uh, 5 I will obtain a let's see I if I multiply it by 15 I will obtain 480 so this is going to be 480 45 divided by 480 plus uh, if I multiply this by 80 I will obtain 480 so 80 multiplied by 7 is 560 so this is 560 divided by 480 and the last term 
480 divided by 40 is 24 so i multiply top and bottom with 24 i will obtain minus 372 divided by 480 so 24 multiplied by 31 that gives me 372 Uh, that's not 24 so let me check this 480 divided by 4 is actually uh, 12 so that's 12 multiplied by 31 that gives me 372 here so this is going to be multiplied by 12 so the first term is multi this last term is multiplied by 12 the second term is multiplied by 80 the first term is multiplied by 15 and that gives me this common denominator 480. Now I have 45 plus 560 minus 372. Uh, this gives me 233 divided by 480 capital R cube pi alpha. So this is equal to capital Q. Now I can report what alpha is. Alpha is 480 capital Q divided by 233 pi capital R cube. So that is alpha 480 divided by 232 divided by pi R cube multiplied by q this must be equal to alpha that's the answer we're looking for okay so in this problem uh, we have considered a spherically distributed charge it's a non-uniform distribution for r less than capital r over 2 we have a linear increase with radial distance and between capital r over 2 and capital r we have a quadratic dependence 1 minus r over capital r squared multiplied by alpha and otherwise it is zero so we want to determine alpha in terms of capital q and r we know that the total charge capital q stored in the spherical charge distribution is the integral of charge density dv over all space and we need to consider two separate regions here between zero and capital r over two and capital r over two and r otherwise the charge distribution is zero charge density is zero so by performing this integral carefully we have obtained the following result capital q is equal to 233 over 480 capital r q pi alpha and from this we can isolate alpha to be 480 q divided by 233 cap uh, pi capital r cube 